I mean, we have models for this and, and epilepsy is kind of interesting because if we think of stroke, um, you know, we know that if someone has a stroke, they come into a unit, they're medically treated, but then they're also seen by a wide range of specialties. Uh, but the task of rehabilitation there is to help them adjust to the impact or the effects of their stroke. With epilepsy surgery, we have this scenario where they're coming in and they're having um, an intervention in their brain, but it's a corrective intervention, but it still does impact brain functioning and it still requires this multidisciplinary team. So the model that we might apply for stroke and for which we have health systems in place um, already developed, that model works really well, we might think of also adopting in epilepsy surgery. But within this framework of going from chronically ill to well, so we've got this person transitioning into this well state, but at the same time they've got a brain, a corrective brain procedure that's going to induce a whole lot of changes and might have cognitive impacts and, and we know has psychological effects as well. And so it's a complex set of issues that we're helping the patient and also the family navigate. And, and we know in the um, work that we've done looking at post-operative adjustment, family um, dynamics and carer roles, all those things change as well. And they're equally as important to the success and outcome um, for the patient because of course they need to be able to realise the benefits of being seizure free in their day to day life and that includes interacting well with the people in their family and, and uh, their broader social community.